Welcome back everybody to Boats vs. Hallover, where man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet, Miami, Florida, but today we are on a field trip visiting Boca Inlet, and Boca's semi-firing today. It's gonna be an interesting day to see how our captains fare as they step in the ring and try and do battle with Boca, but let's go ahead and move into the first round of our competition, and here we go, we've got a Dusky making its way out of Boca. And man, Lake Boca is known for having fun, but some crews just like to have a little more fun than others, kind of like this group right here. But unfortunately for this crew, we don't base this contest on how much fun you have making your way out of the inlet, but how you perform in doing so. Fortunately, Cap's got this one down, and this group's out there having a good time and looks good coming out of the inlet. I'm not going to have any choice but to give this Dusky a win in the first round, which means the boats will take an early one to nothing lead in our competition. And this will move us into the second round. Let's see how our captain fares. And we're going to feature none other than the infamous Inlet Slayer itself, the Bayliner. With people in the bow to top it off with no life jackets on, man, it's like the perfect combo to go out there and just absolutely annihilate the inlet and take a win for the boats. Let's see if our captain can live up to that legend. Here we go. And of course we get smacked right away. The crew's already wet. Everybody's laughing, having a good time, but we all know how that happens. Everybody says, let's go hit the inlet in the Bayliner. It's gonna be fun. But a lot of times these smiles turn away pretty quickly. Kind of like right there, our crew just got soaked. We're still smiling a little bit, but I'm sure our inlet is not done with these guys yet. So Cap's going, oh no! That was the big one. And that was the smile killer. Our crew gets completely drenched. And here we go, look at these faces. Yes, nobody is smiling anymore. And unfortunately for Cap, he's gonna have to go ahead and make that infamous Boca U-turn and limp back into Lake Boca. But the damage is done. We've only got a few rules here on this. And one, no kids in the bow with no life jackets. Two, don't stuff the bow. They broke both rules, so they get an automatic loss for the boats here in the second round. Let's see how the boats fare as we move into the third round of our competition where we're gonna feature a scout trying to make its way out of Boca Inlet. And here we go. Our crew looks pretty good. They actually got a pretty good pace, but we got one serious problem. We're going for rule breakers again. We've got kids in the bow of this boat with no life jacket on, and this kid's screaming for his father to stop. Look at how bad of a beating he's taking. He's sitting up here. The kid's like, stop, please, bro. My man winds up hitting his head in the front of the cushion. It is a rough ride, and man, once again, breaking the rules. Gotta give a loss on this one as well, and the boats are gonna go down two to one pretty early. The boats are gonna have to make a comeback here in round four to not have an early end of this match. Fortunately for the boats, they're gonna toss a ringer in here at the end and throw in a Freeman 42, which actually is a well-known inlet slayer. My man's got the throttles pinned on this one as they make their approach to Boca, and things look pretty good so far. Oh man, he makes a pretty sharp turn there, which can be a little tricky on these cats. They really like to toss people to the outside because they don't lean in quite the same as a normal V-bottom boat. Fortunately, everybody was hanging on. No issues at that point. And they're going to keep the throttles down. And they should have no issues in dealing with Boca for these last few stretches and take a win for the boats here in the fourth round. And that will bring us back to a 2-2 two -two tie as we move into the fifth and final round of our contest. Who will take a win in this episode? Will it be the boats or Boca Inlet? And here we go. We've got another fun-loving crew making their way toward Lake Boca, probably going going in to look to have a great time. And our crew's kind of taking it easy. Nothing too wild here. We've got some people in the bow of the boats. Don't really recommend doing what the young lady's doing in the front with no life jacket on sitting in the very bow of the boat. But hey, to each their own. Our guys keeping the bow up, taking it pretty cautious though to try and make sure they don't have any issues as they make their way in. And here for some reason we're going to back off the throttle a little more. I don't typically recommend this right in the middle of the inlet, but they've spotted the cameras. I'm assuming he's setting it up so these guys can roll by and have a little fun with the cameras. But here we go. He gets back on the throttle. Everybody's going to wave and have a good time. And it looks like they're going to be just fine. And they're going to take a win for the boats here in the fifth round. And that's going to give the boats the win in this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Boats vs. Hallover. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got the Miami Boat Ramps channel that focuses on all the hilarity that happens at the boat ramps in South Florida. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.